Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. This is Doug Davis, broker in charge with Crown B Realty, and welcome to another edition of Ask Doug. So today I want to talk about backup offers. Um, we're having a lot of that uh, happening these days with multiple offers. And the question is, should you do one? What are the pros and cons? Uh, how do you evaluate them from a buyer point of view, from a seller point of view? Um, so that's what we'll talk about. So first of all, what is a backup offer? Well, say you're in a bidding war for a home that got a dozen offers and the seller ultimately picked one buyer and strike, you're out, it's not you. So there's still a chance um, you can put in a backup offer on that same house subject to the first position uh, buyer canceling. So I say there's a chance because the, um, uh, the buyer could get cold feet, um, fretting over how much they overpaid or perceived they've overpaid or more money than they wanted to pay because it was a bidding war and they got excited and they 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 bid a little bit too much and and maybe they cancel right off the bat they just got cold feet and they pay too much and just don't want to do it nothing about the house nothing about any sort of survey or or um a review contractor review or building inspection nothing like that um and they just think they pay too much and cancel out it might go that the buyer continues until they do get the home inspection and then use that over the seller to ask for a huge discount so they they say we want uh, $100,000 so that we can fix all the items on this home inspection report. And you know, the home inspection reports are 50 pages and they fill it up with just everything conceivable. So maybe they do that and get the price down where they feel more comfortable if a seller goes along. Uh, but maybe the seller doesn't go along and then they cancel and then you're in. You're in first backup and subject to the first position uh, folks canceling and that's what happens and you get in. So there's a third scenario that you go along, first position people go all the way down the road and the appraisal comes in lower. And that's not unusual because we're appreciating and appraisers use comparables that are probably all less than what you're buying the property for because they're using historical numbers, but yet we're appreciating and we're starting to appreciate faster now. Mm -hmm. So the discrepancy is going to be larger and larger as, as the market continues to heat up. So then the buyer asks the seller for uh, a reduction in the price um, or in some way to help the buyer be able to pull it off. They don't have enough cash to make up the difference between the appraisal and what they promised to pay. So maybe it cancels that way and you're in as a backup. Okay, so from a buyer perspective, um, there's really little to lose. Um, if a buyer finds another property, they can just cancel and go on their way and there's no money lost. Uh, and um, they're, you're, they're gone. No money is spent. The buyer uh, doesn't start their timeline until they get first position. So um, that would be from their point of view. It's nothing to lose. What about seller's point of view? Well, let's say you're a seller and you get the first position and you hope they'll buy it. And then you put up a backup offer. Um, and then you're going along and then maybe two weeks into it, you get another offer, but it's way more money and you want to be able to accept that. But you've got two 
offer is already in position under contract. So strike, you're out, seller, you, you can't do it. You, you would have to hope that two people would cancel. That's probably not likely. So maybe a seller should never do a backup offer um, because they might get something better. Or maybe they don't, maybe it's better to hedge and do a backup offer because you're kind of have them on the hook, uh, but not really, but you know, maybe they'll stay, stay put until you find out because sometimes the buyers uh, cancel right away. Well, don't know. So that's what's happening with backup offers. Um, a, a simple little topic, but there are perspectives that uh, one should think about whether you're a buyer or a seller. Okay, and actually someone asked me about that, so glad I could answer that question uh, for you. And again, uh, if, if anyone else has questions, I love to hear them because I, I like talking about them and uh, hope this was helpful. Thank you.